In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to batch render a Maya animation. Although Maya does demonstrate and show that you do have the option as far as exporting a video, we normally do not do this because if something slows down, crashes, or uh, your computer shuts off, you would actually have to start from the beginning as far as rendering. So that's why I'm going to focus strictly on the rendering element of doing a batch file here. Now, the first thing you're going to need to remember is how you have your project set up. So I have a project folder and then within it, I have this working file where all I did was just a real quick animation of a cube nav animating in the area here. So I'm going to save my file, but one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to come across the top menu here. I want to take a look at my render settings. One of the things, especially when you're going to import your batch render, into a video editing program such as DaVinci or Premiere, we want to make sure the naming schema is correct. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this icon here. And for this render, for time's sake, I'm actually going to snap out of Arnold. And I'm going to go back to the Maya. Now, one of the things here that I can actually work with is down in the file output. When you're doing a batch, a PNG or JPEG is fine. But what I'm also going to look at here is the important thing you want to look at is the frame animation extension. What that's actually going to control is how the information shows as far as whenever you're exporting. Right now up at the top here, you can see that we just have export demo file.png. But if I go ahead here, what I normally like to do is this option right here where it's the name the numerical value dot the extension file name. So here you can see now what has happened is it started as far as the base file name and it's pointing to the end frame of uh, 10. The frame range is actually found right below your file output. This will be something you will need to change. For instance, my animation that I made is actually 60 frames and ends on the 60th frame. So I am gonna come in here and change this over to 60. I'm still going to leave it at the start frame of one and I'm going to do a frame by frame. So I'm going to also leave this as far as one is concerned. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this out here. Now the next step is making sure up on your main menu bar here. Right now from previous projects I was in the FX, you are going to want, you have a couple of options actually you do have the rendering drop down and you want to make sure that you actually can get to the render drop down menu the big thing that you're going to be looking for here is down here the final section it's called batch render i'm going to go ahead here and click on batch render now just to draw your attention if you look all the way down at the bottom underneath your timeline here you're going to have an output message here where it's going to start just telling you that it's rendering with the Maya software. This is normally a point where you're going to pause. You're going to be waiting. Uh, Maya is going to prepare and here you go. You can actually now see it's rendering out each of the individual files for me there as far as going through each frame and taking a picture. Depending on how long your animation is can depend on how long this process takes. Once the post-processing is complete here, as far as working with your render, this is where knowing where you saved your project folder is important because it outputs to that project folder. Again, by default, if you have not changed the location of the project, at least on PC, it's gonna be under your documents and then within the Maya folder that Autodesk makes for you automatically. So, I'm going to navigate to the Maya folder and you're going to want to locate your projects folder where you have all of your different projects. So for this demo, I made a project specifically called animation demos. Now in here, you should see a folder specifically called images. If you click on that, you will see your exported batch. So you can see the naming schema here where it did the name of the file 001, 002, all the way up to that 60th frame. 
So you now have your export of your batch ready to go. And the next step in another video is going to be for you to actually compile this inside a video editing software tool.